Okay, what's up everybody? Max Ninja here again, and this is probably gonna be the last patch notes video for the character I'm gonna do tonight. As in like tonight, as in I'm going I'm gonna take a break and just do continue with more tomorrow. But anyway, we got Julia here now and yeah, she kinda got that nerf hammer like pretty freaking badly. She's like one of the DLCs that like, hey you pay for this character, let's just just nerf the shit out of her. So anyway, this is gonna be the Julia bit. We're gonna start off with forward four one and change the opponent's behavior on hit counter hit. Cha we change the opponent's behavior on air hit. So what do they mean by that? Yeah, it doesn't wall splat anymore. Like, it just does not. Of course you can still cancel it, but like, why would you use this move? I like I kinda hate when they kinda just nerf moves into oblivion, just like, why? Why why would you use this? It doesn't it doesn't wall splat. It looks ridiculous that it doesn't wall splat animation wise, like why? It clearly should wall splat, but like it's a it is a natural hit. It's a natural hit, but it just doesn't wall splat anymore. And then even if you finish it and they block it, it's minus fourteen. I don't understand why they nerfed that. Maybe just like to, to like lessen her the impact on her uh wall move on her wall moves, but you know what? It's whatever. But it's just weird. I don't I don't know if the move is completely useless, but boy. Boy, howdy, that's just that's just bad. And of course you of course it probably did. Probably, probably one of the reasons actually is like, look how easy it look how easy it is to actually hit confirm that. But anyway, on to our next one. Let's see. Hop three, which is four three one four, which is the hop. We, let's see. Change the opponent's behavior on counter hit. So let's go. Let's, try, let's, let's get this combo in. Oh no! What? Oh, it doesn't counter hit launch anymore. It just does this weird splat. That's all you get. And then after it, since you don't, since you don't get a combo, this is this is all you get from it. That's it. Four four three. I don't, I'm not even sure myself if it's if it's a true thing, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all you're gonna get from that. Like that that that's actually a significant nerf. That's very significant. As I look and then as I look through these patch notes, I'm like, wait a minute, this is actually pretty big for Julia. Cause she of course she still got her shit, but bro, that this not counter not doing counter hit launch anymore is also pretty big for that. Like I said, you still at least get a four four three. Hopefully it is, and just not the computer just being uh but yeah, that that is a, that's actually pretty huge that that doesn't counter hit, that doesn't counter hit anymore. But next up is gonna be up four, up four, up four, three plus four. Change the damage to 25, 27, 25, So this thing, and that's another reason why this move, this move right here, got nerfed. Ball splat made it very, made it very easy to like get. Yeah, so they decreased the damage on that. So pretty much, so like you get big damage and it's bust, mainly unscaled. Oh yeah. So they made it two less damage. It's still gonna do a crap ton of damage, but it just, just let, lessens the blow just a little bit. Scales a little bit harder, but I don't think that's much. That's a, that up four, three plus four, like doing two points less of damage is a big deal. And up next, we got forward four, three. Change the damage from 21 to 18, so this move. 18 damage now does not get a spark anymore so that so you only get sparks if it does over 20 damage so like see that spark so yeah you only get that now so 18 damage only 32 so less damage on that which is I wouldn't say it's like a huge huge nerf but it's still kind of a it's kind of a there because let's see if you look at this patch you got nothing but nerfs which is kind of, which is pretty, holy shiitake mushrooms, that's pretty big. But our next one, but let's see here, our next one's gonna be, let me, let, actually for this one, we're gonna go to the wall. Okay, next one, forward, forward, one plus two. Change the opponent's behavior on hit or kind of hit. Ah, that can't be a big deal, it's just patty cake. Hold up, it doesn't fall splat anymore. It only, it does a regular splat. It just, no more wall splat, no more safe wall bounces. So yeah, so that's, that's, act, that's a big change too, but I don't, it's not doom and gloom, honestly, in my opinion. 
because it's still wall splats at least. And you can still get stuff like that. Like as like as long as it's still wall splats is fine. It's not like freaking four what four 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 and one four one where it doesn't do anything. You can still get you can still get a safe wall splat with four four one plus two, but no more ridiculous wall bounces and no more big ass combos. So that's actually the, I actually like that change. For, I like that change. So good change on this. Good change from that room there. The next one is gonna be Wild Rising Three. Change the opponent's behavior on hit counter hit. Wall crush indu inducing hit is implemented. So it's a wall crush move. Not much to say about that. It's just wall crushes now. You can get probably you can get your 50-50s going and whatnot. You can get it full crouch down under interrupted. Ugh. I can say eh. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of this wall mechanic. I'll probably explain in another video why I don't like it, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing much to see here. Nothing much to see here. Just uh, more wall mechanic shenanigans. Now, next up, next up is wall crouching three, wall crouching three, three, four, three, which is the, which is her bow and arrow. So, while crouching 4-3, extend the distance to the opponent on hit and counter hit. Now, what does this mean? Okay, I get a successful bet. Look how far away they are now. Before, you, this is what you, you can, you, you can actually be in a mix-up. If you move, you get hit by down 1 plus 2. That's not a thing anymore. And to prove that it actually is not a thing, like, usually you get a guaranteed 4-4-3 four, four, against the wall, but just let me show you. And you still see, she got hit while she moved. You can't do that mid screen anymore. So there's no fear her of Julia doing a mix up. Like you can stand up, but that's that's pretty much it. There's not no And if she does that, that's she's minus twelve anyway, so the best thing against Julia you have to get hit by this, just get up. Like you need to get up. There's no threat of Julia actually, you know. There's no threat of getting hit by one plus two because you're so so you're so far away now. Of course, that doesn't matter against the against the wall. It doesn't matter. It's, just, it's pretty much just still the same thing. You still can guarantee four, four, three. It does less damage though, so that's actually nice. But yeah, bow and arrow, like mid screen, it's still gonna be an annoying move mid screen. But I mean, but like about to get hit by it. But like you don't get, you're not put into a mix up after you get hit by it. Which thank the Lord, cause oof. The fact is, like, do I stay on the ground or do I just do, or do I try to get up and just bluff that it won't do a one plus down one plus two? But yeah, no more mix ups in mid screen for that. And that's really all she's gonna get. So anyway, that's gonna be it for Julia. Yeah, she got some. She got she got shot a little bit. I don't think it's as bad as Leroy, Fock, or Lydia, but she yeah, those those nerfs. Oh man, those nerfs are gonna be killer. But that's going to be it for that. Like I said, I think I'm going to take a break and finally just edit the rest of the videos, put them on YouTube, and just do the do the rest of the characters I'm interested in, which is definitely Lydia, Fakuram, and uh, who else? Who else is on this list that, I like, that, I like, that I'm like interested in? Uh, I know there's one character I'm forgetting, but I'm not sure. I'll look at it later. But for sure, Lydia and Fakuram videos are coming. I'm probably going to do those tomorrow. Maybe tonight if I'm crazy. But anyway. That's going to be it for me. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Trying to get more YouTube content out there. Because, like, having a life is busy. The full-time job. Running tourneys. Run, doing streaming content. It's hard. It's hard out here. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope y'all are having a good day and taking care of yourselves. And I'll see y'all in the next video.